Having a little, uh, little trouble there, Jared? No, I'm good. You, uh, being too solid? <laughs> you know what you have to be. <laughs> be water, my friend. Because water can flow, water can crash. Be water. So that's, hey, everybody! <laughs> Way more Bruce Lee than we got in this fucking movie. <laughs> we went and saw Birth of a Dragon. Oh my god. Or Birth of the Dragon. Oh, I want my hour and a half back. You're not wrong. Like hard. Well, no, that's not true. I want my hour and 20 and 50. No, about hour and 20 minutes back. Because we do get some fairly decent Bruce Lee shit. Yeah, um, this movie is... It didn't need to be called uh, Birth of the Dragon. It's Birth of Steve. <laughs> this movie was a lie. You were mismarketed to... This yeah, is if like... you think you're going to get a movie about Bruce Lee and uh, Wong Jack Man... Did I say his name right? Yeah. Okay, Wong Jack Man. You know... I fucked that up last time I said it, so I'm trying to make sure. Uh, fighting. You'll get that for... Maybe 15 minutes? Roughly. Roughly 15 minutes. Roughly about. Maybe a little... Maybe 30 seconds more. But you don't get a realistic fight. Because apparently... Whoever made this fucking movie doesn't know how fucking physics works. No, it's okay. He's a Shaolin master. And Shaolin masters are renowned for being able to leap from 20 to 30 foot high awnings. And land with the grace of a butterfly. See, that's... No. I mean, as talented... Are you telling me that they used fictional events about this movie that isn't well documented? The story it's based off of? Exactly. I'm glad you understood that, because I sure shit didn't, and I said it. <laughs> so it fits perfectly with the movie we just watched. Yeah, um... As far as a movie goes, this one is... Let me find the best way to describe it. This is a movie... Pile of shit. You put on for background noise... A while lie. ...while you're doing shit, and then you pay attention for the the 15 minutes of fighting, yeah. and then you go back to doing whatever you were doing. I would agree with that. If the 15 minutes of fighting happened somewhere in the middle, and instead wasn't just completely and totally tacked on to the very end. This is true. And it's a shame, because... The actor who played Bruce Lee in this... Oh, he fucking killed, killed it. Killed it. For the most part, yeah. I think there were he like... He was phenomenal. I think there were like two scenes where he sort of dropped the Bruce Lee thing and he actually kind of spoke normal. Yeah, very... But... Very yeah, for the most part, he had, he had Bruce Lee's mannerisms down. He had his moves set down. He had his attitude down. He had his attitude down fucking perfect. Well, sometimes... It, at one point, I think I looked at you and went, Is he going to start teaching at Cobra Kai next? <laughs> But the, Jesus Christ! If he this was, was a little, he was a little too over overly confident and cocky for my tastes. Yeah, but if but this that's just me. Had it been a movie about Bruce Lee, like it was supposed to be, yeah, it would have been a good movie. Oh, it would have been fantastic. But, but people don't want that. They, they want like, a movie about Steve. Yeah, not Steve S McQueen. Steve is the man that was Steve nice. McKee. Steve. That was his name, Steve McKee. Are you sure? Because I think they called him Mac. The, it was McKee. Was uh, I, I stopped paying that's attention. Why, but it, it, it spelled M-A-K-E-E. -E. That's why they called him Mac. Whatever. But yeah. I, I really hope it's not, because otherwise Steve McQueen is a huge pussy. No, the, the, there's no truth to that. Because they said... So, around Bruce Lee's fight with Wong Jackman... Which, no one actually knows how this fight no, went. Yeah, we, we've got, like, a couple of second-hand accounts from people that were with Bruce Lee and... People that were with... People Wong, were with... Uh, Wong, Wong Jack, Jack Man. Man. Yeah, and none of them corroborate anything. It's, so, there's two versions of this... Well, there's two people that tell it one way and two people that tell it another way. Right. One way is that Bruce Lee beat the piss out of him in three minutes and made him say he surrendered. The other version says, and like Wong Jack Man like ran away and just ha stood no chance. 
The other version says the fight lasted anywhere from 20 to 25 minutes and basically ended how it did in the movie. Yeah. Because Wong Jack Man just was not impressed with Bruce Lee at all. I hate to say this, but I think the movie we watched probably hit a good even center to it. Uh, it, it ends up being where Wong Jack Man uh, expresses... Uh, that he admires Bruce Lee and he thinks he's very, very competent and capable, but he is his own worst enemy, which, let's be honest, was absolutely true. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I honestly think this movie probably hit it closest to it because I think the, the, Wong Jack Man doesn't, sh uh, for all the stories I've heard of him, doesn't strike me as someone who would overly sensationalize something, but would probably put his own spin on things versus Bruce Lee, who would 100% say, yeah, I kicked his ass. Yeah, so we pro like the the movie actually probably really did like a, a better telling. Like the fight was roughly ten. Yeah, cut minutes. out cut out the stupid floating to the ground shit off. Of yeah, the, cut out the, the stupid and them speeding up and then <laughs> slowing it down for some guy. I'm telling you, man, that was shot in glorious Godfrey Ho vision. <laughs> Because it seriously reminded me of, like, an old Golden Globus movie that they would pick up and distribute for, like, pennies on the dollar. Yeah. It just made no... But, I mean, even the end, which is completely fucking fictional... Oh, it is, but it's ludicrous as hell, and I loved it. I did not mind that, because it, like, so, uh, in the end, like, Steve... The whole, like, other story in this, the main story, is Steve is in love with this girl who he is... He met at random happenstance and is known for maybe a week. And uh, she is indebted to the Chinese triad. triad yes. Uh, because they run Chinatown. <laughs> and uh, he sets up the fight between Bruce Lee. Yeah, so, he, can't, he can't come out and say... So the triad can make... Ridiculous amounts of money. He can't way. come out and say, "Hey, I need some help with this, helping free a person who doesn't deserve to be in this spot because they simply wanted a better life." Yeah. And instead, he has to go behind everybody's back and be like, "Okay, I'm going to manufacture uh, a fight. I'm going to manufacture a deal. It's going to happen." And then all of a sudden, when it blows up in his face, he's like, "Oh shit! It's all gone wrong, Master! Help me! Help me!" You got yourself into this mess. You're gonna have to get yourself up. Fuck you! I got the other guy. He runs to the other guy. He's like, "Master, Master, you have to help me!" He's like, this is battle. You have to fight yourself. up. You just fucking old shit. You don't understand. And then he goes and he tries to do it himself because he's a massive idiot. Gets his ass kicked, and finally Bruce Lee and Walk Walk Jack. Jack Man, thank you for letting me on that. Walk up and look at him. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah. And they're like, yeah, that's because you're fucking stupid. Sit here and we'll go take care of this like men. And they kick the shit out of everybody in this fucking restaurant. Blow through everybody in glorious over the top action fashion. It, it it was, so... I got my classic Bruce Lee moments, but. It, it was definitely predictable. It was super predictable, but it was fun. I was sitting there calling things as they happened. I was like, okay, we're going to get at least two nods to Bruce Lee Phelps. Yes. And that's when he was like, go behind, hitting the dude in the face. And then you got the whole, like... Yeah, <laughs> there's another guy who had bladed brass knuckles. knuckles. Because those are a thing. And he's Fuck spot. you if you don't think so. And there's slashes him across the stomach. There's four spikes, but somehow there's only three scratches. Yeah, he gets three he slashes the across hole. the chest, and he rips his shirt open. Wow! And starts beating the shit out of him. And apparently, this is where Bruce Lee was inspired to make Jeet Kune Do. Yeah. Um, Fuck you deciding to be able to do it on your own and come to a moral philosophy in your own mind. You needed a white man to establish that idea by helping him rescue his Asian girlfriend that he's probably going to break up with after he realizes she's not that good at sex. <laughs> oh, and don't forget the point where they have a gun and I was like, Cue the white guy. And right on oh, time. Cue. Just... <laughs> it, it was amazing. Yeah. People... I have never seen this set up so perfectly, not in a behind-the-scenes video, where they went, and cue, and then something happens, because we're sitting there, and he's, the bad guy's monologuing at them, Jared instantly goes, and white guy with a bottle, BASH! Like, 
<laughs> I look at you and like, when did you become Professor Xavier? It was, How did you know? It was it was either gonna be that or like he was gonna fly kick down the stairwell. <laughs> One of the two. And when he didn't do that, I knew instantly when that other guy started talking shit, I was like, flying kick <gasps> right after her. <laughs> it was the end was so predictable and they I, declared it, it was Bruce horribly Lee. predictable. They declared Bruce Lee the winner. And, yeah, but it is and freed all the immigrants who used the triad to come to America <laughs> and not be sold as sex slaves because that's how the triad works. Yeah, exactly. They totally wouldn't just have five guys outside machine gun them to death the <laughs> second they got in their car. <laughs> Pretty much. Instead, we're going to let two very skilled fighters come through our restaurant and just kick the shit out of all our guys. Yeah. Because that's how real life works. Like, the second Steve showed up, I would have been like, okay, he's here, at least probably not far behind. Uh, get a bunch of guys down there with machine guns. <laughs> yeah. We're going to completely just mow this fucker down. No. You have to be prepared for when you meet a badass in an alley. <laughs> you gotta kick his ass. See, I could believe Bruce Lee taught like that. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. If they toned it back a little bit, I would one hundred percent believe that. I like say. I like everything um, about Bruce Lee in this movie. Ninety percent of it, I think, was right. Oh yeah, no. But like I say, if this had been a movie about Wong Jack Man and Bruce Lee fighting or coming to terms with each other. 100% would have been fine with that. It would have been a fucking awesome movie, probably, because the action in this movie, for the most part, is really well done. It's just we got an um, hour and a half of the Steve show. And yeah, you got an hour and a half of the Steve show. Thank you. That's a really good way to phrase it. <laughs> this this is uh, it's the Steve show starring Bruce Lee with special ja with special guest ja uh, Wong Jackman. Yeah. And, like... It, it was that fight that made Bruce Lee realize he did need to develop a new style of fighting. Right. But, like, it was basically, from Bruce Lee's account, it was when he just beat the piss out of this guy and he hurt his hands doing it. And he's right. like, I need to come up with a different way to hurt people. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I think... Uh, I injured myself when I beat the ass off someone. I need to figure out a new way to beat ass off people and not hurt my hands. But like, Maybe my legs. But like uh, Wong Jackman wanting to uh, to have a, a regulated match yes. what is historically accurate. Yes. And Bruce Lee is saying, no, this is going to be a no holds barred fight. That's also accurate. Right. Well, that, that plays For, into the fact that Bruce Lee was this very, very cocky person. He he was an all or nothing guy. Yeah. It, you either came at him with everything you had or you didn't fight. So he wanted to see the best that you could offer. I really think had they cut out Steve and put in uh, I mean Maybe some more build ups and training montages. Maybe it would have been a really good movie. Or maybe yeah. you had a little bit of more of like we see Bruce at a younger age and what made him that way, but it's just no, it jumps into the story and within the first 30 no, you had it in 15, you realize, oh shit, this is about Steve. The second I saw, there wasn't more than there was more footage of Steve than there was of Bruce Lee when he showed up to go get Wong Jack. Man, I was like. There, there came a point very early um, when I looked at this, and I it was when he went to go uh, greet Wong Jack Man, and I looked at it and I was like, shouldn't this be Bruce Lee? I mean, if this were Bruce Lee, he'd be sitting there trying to size him up, go to him into a fight, do something like that. But then it's like, hi, I'm Steve. Uh, let me say something in Chinese that doesn't make sense. Because I'm an idiot, my friend's an asshole. Well, like, the first time him and, uh, and Wong Jack Man ever did meet was very publicly at that demonstration. Right. Like, that is all accurate. Right. It's just, 
the but whole I, Steve side story. In again, the, last the second minutes. I saw the fact that Steve was the person who was going there and intermediating between the two, it suddenly clicked in my brain. It's like we're not going to get the we're not going to get what we were promised. No, we are going to get the Steve hour. That's why, like, you were like not sold with the trailer. Like with the trailer, I was sold on it. Like I was like. You know, I'm a big Bruce Lee fan now. We both like I was that's what my dad raised me on was like, you know, Enter the Dragon and all those old Bruce Lee movies and fucking awesome shit. Uh so like any movie about, I've watched like really bad Bruce Lee documentaries and really like well, apparently you haven't seen Exit the Dragon Enter the Tiger. No, no. <laughs> but it was That's a movie that legends are made of. I was I was excited about this, and... I could understand why I thought that it looked really I, over the top, and I thought they were... I actually thought an entirely different route, that they were going to exploit this and put in a whole bunch of historically inaccurate shit, like him going down there to the docks and challenging him right then and there, and making both of them very boastful and braggarty people that would just punch the shit out of each other and basically have a brawl up and down Chinatown. Yeah. That was a really cool limerick I made there. I gotta remember that. Yeah. But... That was where my mind went, and why I was saying it was going to be schlock and stupid. And, like, I was... Lo- Neither of us were right in what we were no, going to get. Because, remember, even driving up there, I was like, man, if I get, like, 70% right and, like, 20, I can settle for, like, 25% wrong. Right. Like, because, like I said, I would like, when I was telling you, I'd gone in and seen bits and pieces, I'd... Like, Steve was there, but I hadn't watched enough to realize, ah, oh, shit, Steve. <laughs> He's our main character, uh, and, and he has no personality. that That's what I was, t- I was like, I saw the guy, and he really sells Bruce Lee. Yeah, no, like I say, the guy, the guys who play Wong Jack Man and Bruce Lee, fucking great. Yeah. I would 100% want a movie just with them. But we don't get that. No. We get the Steve story. Steven it up. And he's not Steve before. <laughs> like, the... I was so happy when he finally got his ass kicked. Yeah, well, Oh, God. He... He just, should have had his guy, ass be at least... Long Jack Man should have turned around and kicked his ass just straight right down the steps. There, there. <laughs> when he was coming back to talk to him the second time I looked at you, and it's like, I imagine Wong Jack Man is just sitting there. He's like, please don't let him stop his motorcycle. <laughs> don't let him come over here. Shit. And he just has that—he has that expression on his face when he comes in front of him. He's like, <sighs> "It's just like that is exactly what went through that man's mind." He's like, "I don't want to put up with him today." I know, like historically, they did have like a go between the two right. of them, but it wasn't this fucking person trying to save his <laughs> one week girlfriend from the triad who got hit in the stomach with a baseball. Yep, which was probably the funniest part of that entire scene with him. Like, he goes out and he's like, I'm going to teach you how to play baseball, even though you're being sheltered by the triad, and they're going to probably learn about this shit and punish you in some weird, uh, horrible way, because that's how this shit works. I'm going to teach you baseball. It's, it's okay. I'm like, she's going to get it on the third time, and it's going to hit him. <laughs> and sure enough, he throws two balls at her, and she goes, I don't like it. And it's like, come on, try one more time. And she, he throws it, and she hits it, and goes, Pow! right into his stomach. This movie is very, very... As far as Steve... All I could think of was, like, I wish he were Houdini and he died. As far as Steve stuff goes, it's very predictable. As far as anything goes, it's predictable. Yeah, I don't... This was... This was... This was for as much fun as the end was, it was super by the numbers. And I just... God damn. Don't watch this movie. Don't fucking watch this movie. This movie's a waste of goddamn time. It's a waste of my time, a waste of his time, and it's a damn sure a waste of your time. That's why you're here, listening to us talk about it, so you ain't gotta see that shit. I'd say, put it, wait till it comes out on, like, Netflix or, like, on TV. I wouldn't even do that. I, honestly, I wouldn't. I would say, wait until it comes out on DVD, and then YouTube the fight scenes. Because those are the only parts of this movie that are worth watching. Yeah, well... And they, again, they accumulate to about 20 minutes of footage. And yeah. that's it. That end fight scene was really fun. 
it, it's so over the top, it's fun. Yeah. Because it is, it is 100% just a Bruce Lee movie fight. And it is fun as fuck. Predictable, but, but fun. fun. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've ever done something that well. And cue the white guy. <laughs> <laughs> And what uh, it's a good thing we were in the theater by ourselves. <laughs> yeah, Sean's like, what the fuck? Did they read your mind? <laughs> I was like, I knew it was either going to be that or he was going to fly down the stairwell and kick him. Oh, it was more than that. We were shouting at the screen a lot. <laughs> yeah. We had the whole theater to ourselves. Yeah, thank God. Which, which kind of shows you something. Yeah. yeah. I think anybody, like... You, you can watch, there. like, any Bruce exploitation movie and it's a million times better than this because they actually try. There was one I watched that I really liked not... The Clones of Bruce Lee? No. It was... It was a... a, a biopic or whatever. It was a... Finishing the Game? No. Oh. Uh, it had... The guy was like big in the late 90s. He did a bunch of like action movies. He was in the Time Cop sequel. I can't think of the fucking, his name. Jared, though. unlike this movie, I cannot read your thoughts. <laughs> so I can't tell you. I'll put it down below. It was, but it was like, it, it, I didn't bio watch Time Cop 2, so that's probably why it I don't bio know picked it his about. whole life instead hmm. of just one event. Interesting. Up until his death. But, uh, yep, yeah, that's, don't go watch this movie. Just wait till wait till it comes out on DVD and watch the fight scenes on YouTube. Because that's all you really need. to That's see. all you really need to see because everything else in this movie is boring. The the trailer is a lie. Actually, you could probably watch the trailer and you'd get most of what this movie is. Yeah. We uh, actually, you would get all the good stuff from the movie and none of the bad shit. <laughs> none of Steve. Fuck you, Steve. <laughs> Uh, you don't understand. My girlfriend that I've known for a full week is being kept by the triads. Fuck you, Steve. You need to help me. Nope, Wong Jack Man won't either. You handle shit like that back in the 80s. This is the worst. We handle it differently here. There's winners and losers. And you know what? If you won't help me, you're a loser. I'm going to go take on the triad myself. <laughs> he wasn't that dramatic, but yeah, yeah. We just saved you like 45 minutes worth of movie right there. And then when I did that earlier, that's the other 45 minutes of movie we saved you. And then, you know, the, I'd say honestly... If you watch this movie, fast forward to the Bruce Lee Wong Jack Man fight, mm -hmm. and then fast forward to the last 15 minutes. Well, that's why I'm saying just catch it on YouTube, because that way you don't have to fast forward. Exactly. Because it'll be on YouTube soon enough. Oh, yeah. This movie will be out of theaters next week. I hope so. When something else. The only reason I think it lasts in the theater two it's weeks It's going to make room for the My Little Pony movie. <laughs> The only reason I think this... I kind of wish we'd gone to see My Little Pony instead. I'll fucking kill you. No, it's coming out this weekend, so... For sure it'll be out. Alright, guys, well... <laughs> uh, I don't really have anything else to say, Sean. I guess not. Go check you... out us play Batman on Sean's channel. Yep. If you've got a movie you'd like us to review, leave it down in the comments and uh, we'll try and oblige. Sorry we didn't watch the Emoji Movie, Blake. You know why it happened. Shout out to Blake. Jared had butthole problems. No, I didn't. <laughs> butthole problems. You're a liar. <laughs> Later, guys. You can't disprove it. <laughs> <laughs>